So I've been looking forward to this one for quite a while now actually. Primarily because it's made by writer-director David Lowry, who's just a very talented filmmaker. And the man behind one of the most unique and memorable movies of the last decade, A Ghost Story. But his other films haven't been too shabby either, I especially like The Old Man and the Gun. And now he's back with a movie I intentionally didn't want to know anything about before going in. I mean, I knew it was some sort of new take on an old medieval legend. But that's it, I decided to keep this as much of a surprise as I could otherwise. And in essence, this is a story about a young man who wants to make something of himself. He wants to become a knight of legend, and when the opportunity arises, he takes it. And I gotta say, the story here is pretty simple, like there's not a whole lot to it, at least on the surface. But there is a lot of subtext, a lot of stuff implied but not directly, you know, elaborated on or explained. You gotta do some work on your own to get as much out of this as possible, I feel like. And that isn't necessarily a problem, but I do feel like it does become one here. Because this thing is a solid two hours, but there's not a lot of stuff going on to actually fill that runtime. Things move very slowly, shots linger for a while, and it just feels like it's in no hurry to get anywhere. And honestly, for portions of it I did find myself being borderline bored with it. But then there are some great scenes in this too, quite a few of them actually. Basically any scene with Joel Edgerton is pretty much phenomenal. He's always good, but he just seemed to relish this role in particular. He seemed to just enjoy himself and have fun with it and yeah, I loved him in this. And you know, I did like the general story arc of the main character and I loved how it wrapped it all up too. But as I said, it is a slow movie and it did fail to keep me completely engaged the entire time. So that is a bit of a problem, but at the same time it is perhaps the only real problem I had with this movie. Because on a purely technical level this is a remarkably well made movie. And that becomes apparent almost immediately with this very quick and interesting little intro. Which is then followed up by a scene that features some really impressive camera work. And I mean everything else here is just great too, from the very impressive production design, to the sound design that is just excellent, to the very strong cinematography. And this guy just finds really creative ways to shoot certain scenes to keep things interesting too. Then he also throws in some random stuff here too, like <laughs> let's call them the giants I guess. That just added this eerily beautiful scene that, uh, well I'm not actually sure it really made much sense or served much purpose. But I liked it anyway, so who cares. But of course also the acting here by pretty much everyone is just as good as you'd expect. I mean Sean Harris as the king is great, I love Barry Keegan too. It's actually funny, I didn't even know he was in this, and in the scene where he's introduced, he's not shown up close, but I instantly recognized him by his voice and his mannerisms. And of course we have Dev Patel as well, that does his usual thing and delivers a very solid performance as the main character too. So yeah, as far as the presentation here goes, I have literally no complaints, I loved it. But as I said, I didn't find this to be the most engaging or entertaining movie necessarily. And if a movie even gets close to boring me, I can't really give it that high of a score. So as a result, I think I might have to give this one something like a solid 7. Boop. Which I do think is a bit of a shame considering just how strong a lot of the elements here were. But yeah, I would probably still recommend you give this one a chance. Or you could also not do that, after all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel, because that would be fantastic.